Okay, so I did a test on this B-Link EQ14 recently. It's an N150 mini PC and there's not very many about. So I figured I ought to do some benchmarks and compare it to its predecessor, which is the N100. So this is a Geekom Air 12, which I was also sent. And uh, I've set them up both the same, both running Windows 11. And I've got a few benchmark tests to do. And the first one, uh, I've just downloaded 3D Mark here. So let's launch that on both of them. And we'll start them both at the same time, running the Steel Nomad Lite demo or benchmark. So the N100 one started first. Well, it hasn't started yet, but the loading screen has come up quite a bit sooner. Yeah, and it's loading quicker. I've got no internet connection in both of these, basically because 3D Mark won't run uh, as I'm logged into both of my Steam accounts, it won't run at the same time. It thinks it's trying to play the same game, even though this is the free demo. But you can see that started quicker. The frame rate is terrible. 1.8, 1.9. Uh, and here, 1.8, 1.9, 2.2. It's lovely and clear, but yeah, the frame rate is, is terrible. Funny, I wonder why it does run so bad when some of the games I show, I've shown on both of these mini PCs have actually run pretty well. Okay, the M100 is just finished, and the N150 is just finished, and the N100 is winning so far, so 251, uh, and it was 1.86 FPS versus 246 and 1.83 FPS. Wasn't expecting that way around. And we're going to run Geekbench 6 on both, and it's detected the N100, N150. Okay, so the Geekbench 6 test has finished. We've got 1208 single core score on the N100 and 1209 on the N150, which is neither here nor there. Multi-core score, we got quite a bit better on the N100. So 3278 versus 3018 on the N150. But what I did notice as I was going through it, if we scroll both of these down, this key bit, the N100 that I've got is running DDR5 RAM whereas the N150 is running DDR4. So that's going to definitely help the tests. And there's my cap. Later on, I'm going to take the RAM out of this and pop it in this one to see how much of a difference it makes. But I can keep a note of all the scores. Let's close these down and we'll do a Cinebench test as well. So we've got a multi-core test first. So the M150 seemed to start that a bit quicker, even though I started them at the same time. Well, that's a big score difference. So 2969 on the N100 and 2399 on the N150. So the N100 wins again. So I need to now do the single core test. So again, let's start these at the same time. So definitely the N100 with the DDR5 RAM is faster. So you can see it's filling in this column and it hasn't even started on the N150, it's still going to finish all of this. So this score is going to be quite a lot better. So interesting how the N100 is winning in all these tests. So uh, it won 3D Mark, it won the multi-core test on Cinebench and the single core test. On Geekbench 6, the N150 had a better single core but only by one point. And uh, on the multi-core, the N100 won again. So across the board, pretty much. So the M100 is performing better at the moment, but remember it is using DDR5 RAM and we're using the slower DDR4 RAM in the N150. But before I put the DDR5 RAM into the B-Link, let's have a look at Intel's site because the last time I checked, the N150 wasn't even showing up. So if we go to Intel processors, and under this one, you get the N series, I think. Products. So as you can see, we've got the N97, we've got the N100, we've got the N200 and the N50, but no N150. Which is weird that Intel wouldn't have it listed yet. Right, let's shut this down. So let's take the RAM out of the Geekom and pop it in the B-Link. So here we are. We've only got one RAM slot. Let's pull that out. And that's the stick. And let's pop this one in. No, that way around. 
so it doesn't fit and I thought it was going to but uh, it doesn't line up so you can see here that it doesn't line up this way and also if we turn it around this way so the slot is only for DDR4 in this one so I can't do another test and you can see it's labelled DDR5 in this one so I'll have to wait until I get a board that is an N150 and supports DDR5. So I was going to end the video there, uh, but then I remembered that I've got another M100 mini PC. This is the Melee mini PC. And as you can see from CPU-Z, it has 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. So it'll be really interesting to put this up against the other two. So I better get downloading all the tests. Okay, so 3D Mark first. Okay, so run the same Steel Nomad light test. And we have the lowest test so far, so 242, which is slower than the N150 at 246 with the same DDR4 RAM. But the N100 with DDR5 RAM had 251, and uh, also the FPS was the slower so far as well. Close these down, and we'll launch Cinebench and run those tests. Okay, this is definitely showing how fast a RAM makes a difference. So Cinebench, the N100 with DDR5 was 2969 and it dropped to 1784 with DDR4, a huge drop. Uh, and the M150 comes in the middle of that with 2399. And then single core 918 drops to 621 with DDR4 RAM. And again, the M150 with DDR4 was in the middle. So it's definitely showing the M150 is a faster processor, but the RAM makes a huge difference. So let's try Geekbench 6. So this is the only test that I had where the N150 was the fastest. So 1209 was the DDR4 with the N150 compared to 1208 on the N100 with DDR5 RAM. But the N100 with DDR4 RAM was the slowest in this test at 1092. And then when we look at multi-core scores, DDR5 is the fastest of all of them. So the N100 with DDR5 was 3278. The N150 with DDR4 RAM was 3018, and the slowest of all of them was the N100 with DDR4 at 2777. So, very conclusive. The M150 is a faster processor, but DDR4 is definitely slowing it down. So I need to look, because I was offered, I think, two or three different M150 mini PCs. I'm going to see if I was offered any DDR5 ones, because... I picked the B-Link one because it looked the most interesting, but I'm going to see if any of the others had DDR5. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.